Hi, this is Sunil from Informatica MDM team. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about whether the enable HDD is working properly in MDM. As we know very well that uh, HDD stands for hard delete detection, uh, which is used to identify the deleted records from the source system. So here is the agenda for this video. Initially, we have to make sure that uh, the HDD is enabled in VRS then we have to create landing, staging and corresponding base objects with the proper columns which are required for HDD and let's have a demo to test HDD. Uh, let's check here uh, the HDD is enabled or not. See here, here we can find one package called MRM hard delete detect. It means that HDD is enabled and also you will get one more repos table called the additional repos table called C repos external hard delete detect table once you confirmed hdd is enabled then you can go ahead with the creating of landing staging and base objects as we know already that uh, we have two types of or two use case uh, scenarios with hdd uh, that is direct delete flagging and the second one is consensus flagging so in this video we are going to talk about only a direct delete flagging so in direct delete flagging uh, we have only one source system which is participating and making golden record. So the consensus uh, delete flagging is used for uh, if you have multiple uh, multiple source systems then you can go go for the consensus delete flagging. Let's see the creation of uh, uh, the base object stage and uh, landing tables. So here I created the one uh, table called test view. So here is the columns. The columns I have so here a first name and last name so here are the, these are the two columns uh, uh, which is you which is created for uh, the hard delete detection see the del code and end date so end date is optional so what is del code here so the del code uh, indicates the status of the record so the status of the record might be active inactive or partial since we are dealing with the direct delete flagging we talk about only active inactive same way created the staging table so here is the columns the same columns we have here then see the landing table as well so the same columns I created here first name last name del code and end date so once you create the tables uh, create a mapping so I create the mapping here then enable delta detection on your staging table so here I'm using the detection uh, based on last update date here the setup is ready to test uh, HDD so once you have a stage uh, uh, base object and landing tables you have to execute one insert statement into uh, CRepos external hard delete direct so you have to give the information about your stage table into uh, into uh, uh, CRepos external hard delete direct table so it means that you are providing the details of direct delete flagging to your CRepos external hard delete detect. See here. So here insert into ROID table, HDD enabled. See initially I am giving the ROID table here. So HDD enabled. It means that whether HDD is enabled or not. See one. It means that it is enabled. Then what is the type of HDD we are using? This is direct delete, direct delete flagging we are using. That's why it is direct. And what is a flag column name? Delete flag column name. Since I'm using del code, see here the columns you can see here I'm using del code. So that's why I'm giving here del code and delete flag value active. So if if to indicate uh, the record is active, then we can I'm using here E. If it is inactive, I. Then delete flag value partial. Since I'm dealing with the direct delete flagging there is no value for par uh, partial so it should be null then so as I said uh, uh, the end date is optional so if it has end date then we are giving one it means that it has end date so what is the column name end date and uh, the default value providing system sys date sorry sys date so from a CREPOS table we are uh, giving the ROID table of CSTG test so once you insert this metadata information into your CREPOS external hard delete detect, detect column, detect, detect table, then commit it. Once you commit the changes, 
then enter the value into your landing table so these are the three uh, records I have in the landing table uh, that, that is Sam, Ram and uh, Daniel so what is the del code here initially these are the three records coming from source system which are active A means active that is your wish you can give any any code here depends on your use case the concept behind HDD is so uh, this is landing table I have three records initially I have to run the stage and load jobs it means that initially we are loading the three records into stage table as well as base object for the next run the HDD will detect what are the deleted records from the I mean uh, coming source system here it means that landing table it compares with the uh, previous landing table so the previous landing table minus uh, the landing table will give will gives us uh, the deleted records so this is the concept behind HDD so once uh, it identifies what are the deleted records then again it inserts back to a landing table with del code I it means that the record is inactive now let me run the stage uh, job first now the stage job is executed the total instead of records 3 and the resector 0 and flag rail resector 0 now let me run the load job load job is also got success insert records 3 now according to HDD let me delete one record uh, let's say RAM record from the source system it means that landing table commit it now I have two records now for the next stage job run uh, the contents of la previous landing table will be compared with the landing table so whatever the deleted record from the landing table again inserted back that is RAM record inserted back with the del code uh, equals to I it means that inactive let's see that let me run the stage of once again it got executed now see total records one inserted one where in landing table so we have really we have deleted one record from landing table so it is inserted back to your landing table one so let's see that record see now in landing table you got RAM uh, the record with del code I it means that inactive so before going to run the load job let's see the contents of your BO so I have three records all the new records with the del code indicator it means that now all the records are active just now I run the uh, stage job and the record the delete record get inserted back to your landing table uh, with del code indicator I it means that this record is deleted from the source system now let's run load job and see what will happen for BO Now see here it updated xref that is one and updated record is one. Let's see what is that updated record. Earlier I have all the indicator del code indicators with E. Now what is the content now? Now see the record of RAM RAM and what is the del code indicator is I. It means that this RAM record is deleted from your source system that's why we have the del code indicator I so this is the way we can check whether the HDD uh, uh, working fine or not so here is a KB articles uh, 
for HDD, uh, one is for how to enable HDD in ORS, then how to verify the enable HDD is working properly in MDM or not. Thanks for watching this video, and uh, you can uh, reach us on uh, support videos at the rate of informatica.com for any queries. Also, you can follow us on twitter.com info support twitter. Thanks, have a nice day.